What is going on everybody? Welcome back, MTG here with another episode. If you're new to the channel, hi there. So I recently unboxed the Z Flip 5. Absolutely love this device. I mean, look at that cover display. I can watch YouTube, I can use WhatsApp, I can watch Netflix uh, on this cover display, and I did, it's actually pretty cool. Anyway, lots of content is coming on this soon. But in today's video, as you can see from the title, we got the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic. Uh, but before I do get into it, the box itself is weird because I've seen Watch 6 Classic boxes actually say Watch 6 Classic and show the, the Watch 6 Classic, not this. Like this just says Samsung Galaxy Watch. I don't know why, but the back right here says Watch 6 Classic. Uh, so that's kind of weird. I, want, I wonder how other people's boxes are coming in, if it's the same like this or if it actually says Watch 6 Classic. Classic, like this is a box I got last year with my watch five right here and say hello to my beautiful cat right there. She's great. She makes me really happy. She's great. Anyway, I also have the Galaxy Watch 4 right here as well as the 4 Classic, which is actually on charge right now. And I will be comparing all of them too. And then I also picked up an extra sport band, which is one click, which I like that Samsung is going towards that route, like a one click easier to put on. Uh, but let's get right into it. Here's a box. I, I peeled it out just beforehand. So here we go. Here is, wow. That is a really stealthy, nice looking black. Um, I like it. I really do like it. This is actually my first uh, black smartwatch that I've used in a while. I had the Moto 360 original one absolutely love that i mean i wish motorola would continue to make smart watches uh, but first glance that is super clean so this display i mean it's 1.5 inches it's 40 by 480 pixels super amoled and it has a sapphire scratch resistant glass but we'll see how how much how well the handles up uh, and then an ambient light sensor well uh, let's put that to the side and with the box i got the fabric band apparently this is a one click um, and then we get some do not accept the seal is caution so we got this right here um, and i don't see a charger but it's probably up here i mean i get it with the, like with the phones not having the charging brick but like we kind of need a, some charging stuff in here which i think we got some towards the bottom you got to pull the other side there we go. So it looks like we have it right here and I guess I have to kind of rip through it. So there we go. So it's an updated puck. Well, it's an updated as in it's not USB-A on one end. It looks like it's USB-C, which is a huge plus, but has a matte finish to it. So there is that and I, I'm pretty sure it's going. It's probably going to be backwards compatible, so it can work with previous watches. But let's put all of that stuff aside. Let's put the cable right there. Um, let's actually put on the fabric band. And right now I'm wearing the Pixel Watch, but I'm going to take that off. And the reason why I I love smartwatches, and I'll rock a bunch of different smartwatches. Sometimes maybe it's for using it uh, for exercise. And sometimes just because maybe I like how it looks, like I really like how the Watch Classic looks. I love the blue color on the Watch 5. Anyway, let's get this fabric band going. And, you know, I'm gonna just open it right through. I'm not even gonna deal with that part. Throw it on here. Here it is. Here is the fabric band. And also also has some instructions here on how to put it. And we also have the sport band, which I'm going to take apart too, just so we can have that as well. So there's a sport band. There is the fabric band. So it looks like this should, I hope, fit. So one click. Let's see how well this one click actually is. See how well one click is. Not the greatest with, there we go. 
and then we do it with the other side. So it really is just one click and it kind of pulls in. The pins go in. So it looks like it is on. Let's put it on like that. It's a fabric band. Okay. Not gonna lie, that actually looks really, really cool. I'm fabric bands is my first one, so I don't know how well it is, but I'm gonna try it out definitely. But I also want to put on the sport band. So one click, we're out. That was actually really easy. It's better than past past watch bands. Um, let's go ahead and let's see if I remember correctly. I'm gonna try to base it off of. So I'm thinking this one should be right here. I always get these mixed up. I always do for some odd reason. I'm trying to see how this one would go in. Oh, just one click. There we go. Just like that. I feel like I messed it up. It's supposed to go the other way. I always mix it up. My bad, everybody. Always have to mess this up. <laughs> On screen to right. There we go. Um, actually, I think I might have done it right. There we, I did it right. I'm so happy. I don't even know why, but I did it right. And just tuck that in there. That is a stealthy black Galaxy Watch 6 Classic. All right. I'm so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and pair this up with the Z Flip 5. Um, and also just let me know if you can see the scratches right there like it, I've had this at the times recording for 24 hours, but I mean those scratches right there. They're really bad Anyway, I'm gonna get this set up and I will be right back All right, so we just set it up. I set it up on with the Z flip 5 and here we take a look just a quick rundown so the Exynos W930 uh, chipset it's dual core, two gigs of RAM and 16 gigs of internal storage. And it's running on Wear OS and it has the One UI skin. Um, and I believe there's a beta for like One UI beta five for the Watch 5 and the Watch 4. And this is the Watch 4 just for, or Watch 5 just for re reference. Um, it, it seems that with the Watch 6, which I didn't pick up, the, uh, the bezels are much thinner. As you can tell, this is a little thick. And here is the Watch 4 Classic. So like at a glance, they look fairly similar from the sides and from the front, uh, as well as from the left side. Um, but obviously it's a little bit more updated. Um, so battery, 425 milliamp hour battery right here. Um, it's water resistance up to five meters, IP68. Uh, dust and water resistance. There is an LTE model, but I didn't go with that. It has Bluetooth uh, 5.3 on board, and yeah, we're gonna we're gonna test it out. We're going to compare it with the Watch 4 Classic and see like if it's worth upgrading the Watch 4 uh, to the Watch 4 Classic to the Watch 6 Classic. Now this isn't a direct successor from the Watch 5 Pro. I think this is a direct successor to the Watch 6 Classic because as you know, uh, this Watch 4 Classic and Watch 6 Classic have both like a physical, a physical, a digital crown right here, or not digital, physical rotating bezel, rotating crown, whatever you'd like to call it. Galaxy 5 Pro does not have that. So this is more so a successor to the 4 Classic. Uh, but I, overall, I like this color specifically I kind of wish Samsung did add more colors and variants to this year's Watch 6 and Watch 6 Classic. Uh, but nonetheless, just a little side comparison between the 6, the 5, the Watch 4 Classic, and the Watch 2 right here. They all look pretty stealthy. Like Samsung does make some very, very nice smartwatches. Like I like how they're around. Uh, there's different sizes for these as well. I went and picked up the 47 millimeter. I do have some slightly larger wrists. Like I'm rocking the Pixel Watch um, and it's a little, like I kind of wish Pixel had a larger display and the bezel here, granted because of the watch face, it doesn't look like you, you can't really see the bezel, 
But if you put a different colored background other than black, you can see the bezel. Uh, and it's super small, like the entire face of this, the watch like fits just in the, in the face of the Watch 6 Classic. It's much smaller. I hope they come out with a bigger variant, maybe not with the Pixel 2 according to rumors, but with Pixel 3 and onward, maybe like a Pixel Pro or Pixel Ultra, whatever you'd like to call it. Uh, but nonetheless, here it is. Let me know your thoughts. Appreciate this one click. It's much easier. It took me a while to put these on, these stainless steel bands, uh, but I probably will be uh, end up picking a uh, black stainless steel band to go with my Watch 6 Classic. But I do have a bunch of different colors and I can kind of choose which one to wear accordingly. And yeah, lots of videos are coming with the Watch 6 Classic and the Z Flip 5. So if you wanna take a look at upcoming videos, definitely be sure to say subscribe to the channel, check out my latest wallpaper pack. It's called Jello. I'll be leaving a link in the description down below as it really does help out the channel a lot, uh, as well as taking a look at my latest merchandise. Uh, those are on the channel too. I have desk mats, I have coffee mugs, I have sweaters, sweatshirts, pillows, t-shirts, you name it, we got it. Uh, definitely does go right back into the channel. It's thanks to you guys that I'm able to check out the latest and greatest tech. So yeah, there's that unboxing. Uh, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.